Did Mitt Romney pose as a police officer and pull people over when he was in college? It appears that he did. As we know from Mitt Romney's experience on uh, Mitt Romney's son's appearance on the Conan O'Brien show, Mitt Romney really likes playing pranks on people. He doesn't really like being pranked. I think we learned that, didn't we, Louis? We did. So it has now surfaced that when he was in college, Mitt Romney used to get his rocks off by impersonating a police officer wearing a uh, police uniform that apparently his father obtained. It was a Michigan police uniform and pulling people over. A former friend of Romney said, quote, he told us he had gotten the police uniform from his father, George Romney, then the governor of Michigan, whose security detail was taft, staffed by uniformed troopers. He said he was going to pull over drivers on the road. He also had a red flashing light that he was attached to the top of his white rambler. We thought it was all pretty weird. We thought, wow, that's pretty creepy. And after that, we didn't have much interaction with him. This he, is also illegal, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in prison. And if you actually use the uniform in the commission of a crime, then it's actually a felony. And then you're escalating it even further. It is kind of creepy, right? And what it, what it tells me, not only uh, of what we already know that Mitt Romney pulled a number of pranks of questionable ethical standing, that he had this incredible desire to fit in as kind of a normal guy, which probably drew him to do a lot of these things. That and maybe some sociopathic behavior. Just things that end up making it clear that he is by no means normal. Exactly. And then yeah. it works out kind of making him stand out even more. And maybe he didn't even realize it at the time. So the story has been told almost identically in The Real Romney, which is uh, a book about Mitt Romney, as well as by a number of other students. Uh, disturbing stuff. There's no putting lipstick on this pig, is there? You really can't. No. Absolutely not. No. He wants so desperately to just appear to be a normal guy. What can you do? That's, that's what he did. Okay, mittens. Shave, shave the hair, cut the hair off of a kid who you perceive to be gay. Impersonate a police officer to pull people over. So on and so forth. Also, part of that, there was a, a prank, I guess, he played where he pulled over a couple of people that were on some kind of date. And also, part of that was, as a police officer, so one of his friends had planted some alcohol a bottle of alcohol in the trunk of the car he pulled over and part of the whole thing was to find the alcohol by searching the trunk hilarious stuff misdemeanor crime but hilarious pranks what yeah. a prankster yeah also th these people could have been uh, could have been seriously actually legally in trouble had they been pulled over by an actual cop who found the <laughs> bottle of liquor right so realistically uh, uh, this also endangering now again it doesn't seem that Mitt Romney actually put the bottle of liquor in the back of the, the, the vehicle it just seems that it was part of the plan for him to find it yeah. Very different. Of course, that clears him of any responsibility. No doubt. <laughs> On today's bonus show, we will talk about Russia considering bearing Lenin, who's been embalmed in Red Square since 1924. We'll talk about a form of heavy, heavy metal called black metal, which Lewis is very familiar with, that is anti-Islamic and all of the dangers that are associated with that. We'll also talk about, this is unbelievable, Starbucks now really expanding its business model, moving into a funeral home. Starbucks in a funeral home. If you're not getting the bonus show, you should get it. Producer Lewis hosts it. It's on audio and video available for members. You can find out more at davidpackman.com slash membership. We'll take a break. We'll be back. We'll talk about the 33rd time that House Republicans vote down Obamacare. Don't worry. It's pointless. And plenty more. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com.